Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we continue this uh, kind of solution thing, just wanted to say this worked for me. It might not work for you or it might work, uh, but just please donate me if it doesn't work for you. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. I own a Logitech G293 wheel. Uh, with the shifter and the pedals, all the same brand. This is a PlayStation version, uh, which I'm using on PC, and I have Forza Horizon 5 on Steam. All right, so first step to this, you wanna have Xbox Game Bar activated. So what do you do? Uh, you press the Windows key and you type settings. There it is. You click on that, and here you go to gaming section for Xbox, and you make sure this Xbox Game Bar is activated you can also check this box if you want to use your controller to open xbox game bar all right so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hold the windows key button and press g at the same time and this is what's gonna pop up usually some of these are already open i've just closed them for temporary matter so here we have a performance you click on that this opens it might look a bit different it might show different stats but this is basically what it is. You can press this arrow button just to make it smaller and go to the settings here. You can put it wherever you want on the screen, wherever you feel like. This is on zero. I put it on 100 so it's more transparent. Uh, you can, I guess, put uh, other colors. It doesn't really matter. Whatever stats you want to show, uh, I only put on one. So we close that and we put this here or wherever you want. I'd like to pin it as well because that's really important. We'll see how this works later on. All right, so here we are in the game and I'm gonna try to use my wheel and it shouldn't really work. It gives me that error that controller disconnected. We already know that. So now what I'm gonna do, hold the Windows key, press G or on your controller. We already have this pinned, so we're gonna press the left mouse button on anywhere on the screen, doesn't matter. It's gonna move my mouse out of the way. And let's try it now. There we go. It works, oops. I'm gonna change the gear. It goes to one right there. I'm gonna turn the wheel. Everything works just fine. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna try the shift. That's two, three, four, five, six, and reverse. So everything works now. It's really weird. I've never seen anything like it before. I literally found it by an accident. <laughs> I don't know if there is any tutorial or anything out there for this. So I found it. I was like, you know what? Let's just make a YouTube video about it and help everyone else out. Hopefully this works out for you and, uh, you know, have fun playing Forza Horizon 5. If this solution worked for you, please leave a like. If it didn't, uh, let me know in the comments. Then I'll try to find a new solution. I'll do more research to see what other options are there. And if you have other way of fixing it, please, please leave it in the comment down below so everyone else can use it. This is my first time doing a tutorial video like this. Uh, I never done this before. Uh, never planning on doing stuff like this. My channel is made for, you know, cru cruising around a joyride with my steering wheel if you like that kind of thing if you like to watch those stuff you're welcome to take a look at my channel and subscribe if you want to see a lot of those because i'm going to upload and try my best to upload one a day and see where we go all right guys i'll see you next time and take it easy